Hello, ho ho ho, and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 14 with me, Craig Barton. And yes, it is that time of year again when I'm recording this. The Christmas holidays are in sight, but of course that means we've got to get through the next few weeks of teaching to get us there. And I think it was this time last year, well, I hope it was, seeing as it was Christmas, that I featured one of my favorite Christmas activities on TES, which was kind of making a snowflake using construction activities. And it went down really well with my students. So what I've decided to do is dig out a other Christmas construction activity on TES because it's that time of year it lends itself nicely to, to some kind of practical hands-on things the kids think they're having a good time or in fact they're learning key mathematical skills so here it, here it is Christmas construction activities uploaded by now I've featured the these resources in the past I never know whether it's Mrs Lack or Mr Slack no offence either way uh, meant here. So it is a single file, uh, it is a PDF, so you download it and it looks like this. And it's very simple, it runs itself um, and it's nicely differentiated as well. There's a, there's a nice increase in uh, demand for the students as they go through it. So first up, they've got to uh, construct a Christmas star. And what I like about this is some nice little hints here, but nothing too much. So can they draw a perfect version of that? Quite a challenge if you think about it there. So that's something for them to think about. Then we step it up a little bit. Um, can, they, can they construct that shape? Flipping X. so maybe the angle measure is out here. Do we need to use a protractor? Is the way we could do this just with compasses and so on? Then we get to the Christmas tree. Very nice Christmas tree here, making sure all those triangles, all those lengths are the same. And then a lovely little trapezium on the bottom. And look at that. What can you say to describe the three triangles in the Christmas tree mathematically? So we're link, link, uh, link, link, God, I can't even speak. Linking in a bit of similarity there. And then the biggie, Christmas angel, Christmas angle angel. Follow these 10 instructions to construct that wonderful stuff. Now, Oh, hey, there's the answer to me question. It's Mr. Slack. Nice. Okay, so how are we going to use this activity? Well, it, it runs itself, as I say. It, it covers a lot of the major constructions that students are going to need, specifically those ones that they don't often um practice possibly in lessons you tend to well i certainly tend to focus a lot of my attention on angle bisectors perpendicular bisectors and so on don't tend to spend a lot of time certainly constructing polygons within circles and maybe even equilateral triangles and isosceles triangles and so on so this is a perfect way to make sure students are getting that crucial practice in that particular skill um, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> when I've tried this, um, it has been a bit of a disaster at the start, but that, that's been my fault more than anything, because um, students struggle knowing how to start this. And okay, there are hints there, but as I've said, they're, they're not the most comprehensive hints, and that's a good thing. So what would I do to, to help support the students? Well, maybe draw up some more structured hints that take students through how to construct a triangle, how to draw angles. Um, how to draw trapeziums, how to measure angles and so on, and have those available in the classroom. So if students are having a nightmare, just say to them, well, why don't you just go and have a little read of that guide, then come back and see what you can do. And get the students working in pairs and all that kind of thing. And it's it's just a wonderful, wonderful activity. And they produce some beautiful things at the end of this. That's, that's the key to it. And in terms of differentiation, as I've said, it's, it's quite well structured. And this Christmas angle angel is flipping hard to produce. But at the end of it, if you've got a student who's actually absolutely nailed that, why don't you get them to create their own Christmas decoration and write a series of instructions like this so somebody else will be able to construct it. And then, of course, you've got that opportunity to swap the decorations around, uh, see if other students can construct other people's um Christmas decorations and so on. So loads of different scope here. And look, as I say, constructions is one of those topics that students aren't a big fan of doing, I've found. And a lot of the emphasis goes on to a very narrow range of constructions. Whereas this, in a fun, engaging way, gets them trying out a whole host of things and gets them a lot more confident with using their compass in particular, but also their angle measure, which I think is very, very important for the GCSE. So there it is. And just remember, a uh, TES resource is it's not just a resource for Christmas, it's a resource for all year round. So feel free to use this at any stage, but it does lend itself particularly well to the month of December.
So this will be the uh, last resource of the week uh, for 2016, but I'll be back, don't you worry about that, for 2017 with a whole host of brand new mathematical goodness. So take care of yourselves, have a wonderful Christmas break, and I'll see you in the new year. Bye-bye.